channel yard on fire and cooking tv hosted by me charlotte rose so guys you don't know on this channel we cook up the yard food fine food anything from what can find the ingredients i will cook it so on today's episode guys i'll be cooking up some salt mackerel and food and we Jamaican call food dumpling, banana, yam, potato, etc, etc, etc. Some people say ground provision, but it's all the same thing. So guys, if you want to see how I cook that up, come on! Also guys, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of every single time I put a new video up. So this is how they package it in the supermarket. If you can get yours differently, guys, do so. But this is how I get it where I live. So I'm going to just open my package. And, ew, good joke. And clean this up. Wash it off. And then boil. Look how nice this is looking. To prepare this, guys, I'm gonna start by washing it off with some cold water. So after you wash it off with cold water, guys, you can use a lime. I have two little dry up lime here. But I have lime. So I'm just gonna squeeze the juice on here as you can see guys this is the same lime I had used to make my the rind for my cake my black cake so you have to use it up you can't waste it right so I'm gonna squeeze the juice on this both on the inside the outside and the inside Then you can use the, the and kind of wash it off. Careful of the bone, guys. Then wash that off with some more cold water. So after you wash this, guys, you wanna you wanna cut it in half. Off this to my need this don't it cut off that cut off this one and cut this in half so now you have four pieces get rid of that Put it in here, cold water. So guys, I don't have the luxury of, um, well I do, but I didn't do it this time around. But I didn't have the luxury of soaking this for overnight. So because I didn't have the luxury of soaking this for overnight, I am just gonna do it this way to get rid of most of the salt because salt mackerel is salty like salty okay i don't like the salt at all i like salt mackerel but i like when you eating it it's manageable and it's eatable it's not too salt that you can't eat it okay so to this i'm gonna add some more cold water guys i'm just gonna add some vinegar Maybe two tablespoons or so. And then let that sit for about 20 minutes. Alright. I said 20, give it 20 minutes, but about 45 minutes have gone by. But preferably, guys, it would be better to do this overnight, this whole soaking thing, if you have time. Like I said, I had no time. I just got in from work. And I fell for some salt mackerel. If you have time, you could do the overnight soaking. Okay? 
soak it once then throw that water off then soak it again now in my situation right now i have no time so i am doing it this way i washed it off put some lime on it cleaned it with the lime wash that off maybe like you could wash it like two three times with fresh cold water then you soak it in some vinegar water like i'm doing here for however much time you have guys i was doing some other stuff so it ended up being soaked for about 30 45 minutes so with that said i'm gonna throw my water off vinegar water that is Take some fresh water and I have some water on the stove that's gonna put this in it. Cause remember, salt mackerel salty. Alright. So my mackerel is in the water and I'm gonna let that boil up for about until you start seeing the water boiling guys then you change it out you could change this like two three times i do not like a lot of salt neither in this or saltfish i don't like it i'm not gonna boil all the salt out but yet still i want to be comfortable to eat without tasting all this salt you see what i'm saying so now that i got my salt mackerel in the pot you can see that it's not bubbling it just a uh, get up to the nitty gritty so after it become to a boiling point you want to take that water out and use fresh cold water start the process again and do it as much as you feel like for as much salt you want in your salt mackerel all right so i'm gonna make that boil up and go deal with my dumpling and thing then all right i'm not gonna do the dumpling and banana on as a tutorial I'm gonna do that another time so yeah so the salt mackerel started boiling I'm gonna just throw that off some cold water on it I'm gonna check it I always check my salt mackerel for a salt level I'm gonna like it salt this one I say I don't I can't enjoy it when it's salty so one boil don't work for me I boil it I might boil it like another time and check it again so i'm gonna say okay over here sir i have my water ready for the dumpling and thing like that over here i already need up my flour so i'm just gonna go back over the side there and go cut up my onions and bell peppers tomatoes and stuff like that this is the second time around boiling this and when I taste for salt, I don't just taste the outside. I open the in, inner part of the mackerel and taste in there. So, you see this piece coming from the inner part? This is the piece I'm going to taste, okay? And if this salt, may I boil it again. I don't want it salt. Mad salty, guys. One more time should be good. So I rather boil it out enough, not all the way, to make my taste bud comfortable. See what I'm saying? To each his own. If you wanna sit there and eat a bag of salt, that's not my thing. Okay? This are the last boiling for me. So I may say any more than that. <laughs> I don't salt mackerel anymore. So I may say. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I was working on cutting up my veggies and stuff like that so i'm gonna put that on a little bit drain off this water all right so drain off your water all right so all the water gone this is where you have cool water. Cool it down. So 
So while that's cooling down, guys, I'm gonna deal with my onion. Cut it up, add it to the rest of the stuff. Add it to the rest. Also, have some thyme. The other one, this was in the freezer, guys. So don't mind the color, it went in nice, fresh and green. Come out hot and cold. Alright, so this is it. Take a few sprigs. Not too much, you know what I say? Maybe about that. You see that pepper here? I don't even want to take it out like that. You see this pepper? When we say hot, a hot! Alright. I got a few of them from a friend of mine and this is the last one. I keep it in the freezer. So, I definitely can't put it in this meal. I can't cook it up with the other seasoning because the kids would have no dinner tonight. So what I'm going to do with this is cut a piece in mine. Alright? So I'm going to gently, nicely put it back in this bag and put it back there. All right, for the next step, I have this chocho. We call it chocho Jamaica. Growing up, my grandmother always put this in her. What the thing I mean? Salt mackerel. All right, I don't know why. It could have been that the salt mackerel did ration, so she have to tap it up with something. But the top where she top it up with this chocho, I've never cooked my salt mackerel without chocho and trust me, it tastes so good. You wanna try it, all right? So I cut it in half, and then I'm gonna cut it that half in another half again. So you're gonna have four pieces, and it has a middle piece to it, like this little middle piece here. You could see that it look a little more whiter than this side. So I'm just gonna turn it like so and make a little slit down the middle there so and as you can see that whole piece gone. Alright? Do the same for all of them. That whole middle piece gone just by doing that. So do all of them like this guys. I guess they call that part the core of the chocho. You don't want to eat that part, guys. It kind of tastes funny. It have a little tough taste to it. And it not taste right. So I just get a smaller knife. Remember, the skin is thin. So you don't want to dig down in your chocho too much. Just slightly peel it off. Alright. And like I said, guys, I always see my grandmother put it in there. I mean, I know things may be little ration and she try and make up the pots. It could have shared for everybody. But whatever the case may be, as a woman, I have never cooked salt mackerel without this unless I don't have it. I am always miss it if I don't have it because I've used it all the time. Guys, would you believe from the time I put on the pot for the, the dumpling and banana and something, I'll know the pot not boil up and the, 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 the stove is on high. I don't know. Maybe the pot. I don't know what's up with the pot. Maybe the water did too cold. Well. Alright, so now that you get it peeled, I am going to slice it. Alright, see that? Nice little slice. Kinda look like a apple, don't it? Alright. So you get it like that. You just do the rest of them the same way. Go over this so send your bread on. Go over this so send your sister. And that's it. So okay. Now that we have, have everything cut up and ready to bounce, so I may say it can't fit over here. But this is what my vegetable plate is looking like. 
Alright. Onions, thyme, bell pepper, green scallion, and tomato. So I'm gonna leave this on here for now. Kinda do a little cleaning up and go see what's going on with that pot. Why all know it can't boy. I don't get it. So the salt mackerel is fully cooled down. So I'm just now going to pick it up. In the meantime, I'm picking this up. I am going to um I'm going to fry up my onions and stuff like that. So I have the plate there over there, so let me tell you something guys. A lot of people don't like the head of the this thing but I love it okay so guess what I go and pick out these bones that could possibly cause problem I love the bone in the head actually I love all of the bone way in the fish I go and take off this little fin part right here so and Take off this little skin thing. We are going here, sir. So, me, sir. Take out as much of the bone as you can. Worse if you give it to kids, big people, not so much. Them can fend for themselves. So, as you can see, just flaking away, just like that. And as you flake it away, you just take out the bone. See that? Alright, that's somewhere I gotta do the thing for the rest of this. So I could use another plate to put this on. That way everything now gets mixed up and I can figure out which is which. So I'm gonna put the one them that I'm flaking off right here. So you see that? And I already taste it for salt <laughs> and it nice and tolerable. As I just tasted it, you can taste the fish oil. Yes, this one, girl, guys, not as she went. I like it. This one I seem like it have too much bone in it, but just a precaution, guys. If you're gonna give it to your kids, do a good job. Favorite pot. And this pot finally decided to boil up. Let's see, my thing over here, so I pick it up. You know, bite size ish. And like I said, guys, I like the head. And I like the bone. So, if you don't like it that way, take it off. Simple. So it's now time for the. Let me turn off this spot. I'll turn it on. So it's now time for the salt mackerel. I'm gonna fry up the scallion. I'm gonna fry up the scallion first. Some time. Now you can already smell it and I turn it down and low, guys. So that I am gonna add the teeth. Tomato. Okay. So you want that to go in and get color. Make the color. And like I said earlier guys, I'm not putting the hot pepper up because the babies are eating and I want them to enjoy their dinner. So I'm going to leave that and let it do its thing on low and slow, which is my motto, low and slow. So this guys I'm gonna add some garlic Hi. 
This is puree garlic. Save me the time of breaking and cutting, dicing, slicing, and crushing garlic. You could put as much or as little as you want. And I think I want to turn this up just a bit. It's just a bit, a little bit too long. So guys, I am I am going to draw from my one of spoon. You know why? I notice when I'm doing my dishes, right? All I hear is when I go back to edit, all I hear is and it sounds annoying to me, so I know it should sound annoying to you guys. So, wooden spoon, okay? Low noise. Low noise. Alright, so we're gonna let that cook up. At this point, guys, if you wanna add some black pepper to just season up the pot from jump, do that. See what I'm saying? Put some black peppers in there. You could also put some ground. And since this is more so of a tutorial, guys, I'm gonna go get my measuring spoon so that I'm not gonna say I did not put the measurement. So guys, this is a quarter teaspoon. So some allspice, right? Remember allspice carry a strong liquor flavor so don't put too much but it's better than putting the whole pimento seed it reached to this point i'm going to put in my chow chow and let that cook up a bit before the pot full up you know what i'm saying because you want the chow chow to cook also okay so i'm gonna leave this and let it cook up so guys, this look like it's a going away things. So now I'm just gonna add everything in. So guys, you use the scallion for flavor, the tomato for color, the thyme also for flavor, and the garlic. So everything you put in at first, is to flavor up your pot so now and you put in the chocha so it can cook up because that would be the hardest thing to cook up so now you put in your bell pepper and your onion remember i already put in some garlic right so now i'm just gonna turn the heat up just a little bit more and you could add some more oil because you want this to have gravy right to this guys i'm also adding some complete seasoning just a little like a herb taste to it the fish now guys i am going to taste this see what i go on for it to this, I'm gonna add my salt mackerel. So now the heat is up, right? Before any, while the salt fish is still on top, add some black pepper. Add some black pepper. Hallelujah. Okay. So we are gonna let that cook up in our juices. But before that, guys, I almost forgot some vinegar. Okay, guys. So I think I'd said this before. I really don't like just the white vinegar. I prefer to use the white wine vinegar, which is in this bottle. It's a less, it's a bit less tart on the palate. So I'm gonna add some of that, about a teaspoon thereabout. 
and uh, mm, it smells so good when you put that um, vinegar in it guys just the burst of flavor was coming on my nose a while ago Woo! so I'm just gonna leave this and let it cook up in it own juices you can take a wolf a little taste a oh, lot guys what am I want no go on, go on. so we're gonna leave that make it cook so, so guys this is it this is what it's looking like cooking down I'm gonna bring the stove to four, not too high. Just let it go and cook down in it own with the juices right there. So soak up all of that vinegar, the garlic, the onion, the bell pepper, the thyme, all of that. Make it soak it up. See? So we are done. This is done, guys. You can see say, this mellow down in another pot. And everything get the taste of everything so now may I go plate up and show on what I want okay guys so this is what dinner is looking like my cook up salt mackerel with some dumpling yuca banana and over here guys the some avocado and tomato with some like a black pepper and salt and some par fresh parsley i am going to dive into this guys oh lord it looks so delicious and over here guys in this beautiful santa glass delicious mango pineapple and passion fruit juice with some ice you know this well cooked Guys, I really don't drink like that, but you can tap it up with a little rain if you, if you want to, okay? And you could leave it just like that, nice same way. So guys, a little tap, just a tat, not too tatty. Then this is my DIY stirrer, so I'm just gonna stir it up. Little darling, steer it up. Come on now. This just need a little lemon on it, but I don't have any to garnish it. Guys, me I go yam, me I go grub, me I go heat, me I go full me belly. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna eat right now. Look at this. Ooh. Look how soft this banana is. Mm, this nice nice and soft and you can taste the onion in it mm -hmm. so take a wolf take a cut out of the bun of the dumpling i don't like biting dumpling guys i had a tragic accident in the past broke the tooth yeah I just guess. But well, look. Nice. I only get this. Alright, Teresa, time. eating time. Oh, guys, I'm forgetting something. The pepper. I'm not going to get my pepper. You broke this too. For real? Over a dumpling? I'm going to stuck it in there and bite it and bite the fork and it break my teeth. So, guys, I got my pepper. I forgot it, but it's here now, so I'm just going to mix some in when i tell you this pepper is hot it's hot so i don't even know what that's pepper the pepper, pepper. so So the salt guys perfect with the vinegar nice all the vegetables and all them things perfect wait a second wait a second what do you say 
Wagwan. What are you say, Naraya? Mm-hmm. Naraya. Oh. Naraya, look at me. What are you say? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. EJ, what are you say? Thumbs, buggers, puke, diaper for lefty me. <laughs> The puppy, I leave them money. I'm out tonight. Why not pull it over? Why not? Big fat on us of a juice. Swallow, what's your name? And not even swallow good. What she know? What she? What she? Chocolate tea. Oh, yeah. Or hot chocolate. Good touch, Justin. Like, you never kick a rump for so long.